Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building a new character on my main account. And as you can probably see by the title and thumbnail and the character on your screen right now, we are going to be building Kaya. I was inspired by the new Genshin event. He was in a couple cutscenes, I was kind of liking what he was doing, and I was kind of reminded, hey, I still haven't built a Kaya yet. So today, we're going to just do that and try to build the best Kaya possible. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, if you haven't already, it would really mean a lot to me if you could go down and click that subscribe button. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed, and it really doesn't take that much time. Without further ado though, let's get back into the video. Alrighty, so we got a lot of work to do for Kaya today. I prepared a couple of the materials, but there are still some things left undone. I always like to leave a little bit to do so I can get some extra content for the video. So for Kaya, we need a plethora of different things. These include the frost cores. I'm not going to say that first word. I have already got 17 of these, which is pretty decent, but I'm going to need a little bit more if I want to take them to level 80, which is my goal. The next thing we're going to need is a ton of treasure hoarder insignia. Is. We're going to need a lot of these too. I believe I need a couple more of the gold ones, but I think I have enough of the silver and brown. We're also going to need a lot of cog calla lilies, calla lilies, something like that. Again, I've prepared most of these, but there's just a smidge more that we have to get in order to fully ascend our Kaya. We have enough Mora in our inventory. And we also have enough EXP books because we've been preparing to upgrade new characters. And the last thing we're going to need is a ton of talent books. And as you're going to see here in a minute, we are kind of lacking in the talent book department. I'm going to need a lot of teachings of Ballad in order to upgrade him. And also we're going to need to find his weapon and also a good artifact set for him. The first thing we're going to want to do though is go and fight the dreaded Cryo Regisfine, the hardest boss in Genshin Impact. Man, what a difficult boss this is. I had to bring out the full Pyro team just to kill him. We got Deha, Zhongling, Kazua, and Bennett all to defeat a single Cryo Regisfine. Let's go. This boss may take me an hour. It's a very difficult boss. It takes a lot of skill to be able to defeat. It can take like near hours just to defeat one single boss because it is so difficult. It is just such a difficult boss. And like by the time I even get the Dia burst up, oh never mind, he's already dead. Oh well, that was unfortunate. Okay. Let's claim our rewards. As you can tell, the cryo reg is fine. It's kind of a joke. It takes about 10 seconds to defeat that boss, and it doesn't give us a good artifact either, but we did get three of the cores. Now, I believe I have to grind that boss a couple more times, but we're going to have to wait for it to respawn to get off of cooldown. So in the meantime, why don't we go get some Kala Lilies? Now, I think I know where a couple are. I think there's a lot in Springvale here, if I'm not mistaken. Some by the ocean over here next to this hog. Oh, there it goes. Five, friend. One, two. And then we can get three, four over here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I think that should be enough for Kaya. How many do I have now? 113. 108, I believe, is the exact number you need. So there we go. We got all our Kala Lilies. Next thing's next. We have to grind. We have to do some mad grinding for treasure hoarders. And I have to kill a lot of these guys. So instead of showing you guys all it, here's a compilation of all the treasure hoarders I am about to obliterate. Oh, hello there. Goodbye. All right, I believe we killed all the treasure hoarders we needed. I think that should be enough to fully get up all our Kaya's talents and his level. So let's head back over to the silly, ugly Cryo Regisfine and kill it one more time. Cryo Regisfine, we are back. The two hour long boss fight, the hardest boss in the entire game. We have to put out everything we got. Give it all our best effort, because if we don't, he may kill us. He may defeat us. Come on, you got this. Okay, maybe you don't got this. Next time. You'll get him next time, Cryo Red is fine. Ooh, another big three. We take that. Huge. One step closer to our Kaya victory. Next thing we gotta do is talent books. We need a lot of talent books. I want to try to get his talents to at least like 7-7 seven, seven, or maybe 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't plan to get them any higher. I don't think he's one of the characters at level 90 because I don't have the materials really to level 90 any characters right now. I'm a little bit broke. So we're just going to try to get the talent books to take them to at least 7-7. Seven, seven, and then I think I will leave it there. But to do that, I'm going to need a lot more resins. I have a couple fragile prepared just in case for scenarios like these. So we should be good on that front. Let's craft a little bit of resin and head over to collect us some talent books. 
This domain is not one that I particularly like. This domain, uh, it slows you. It drops icicles on your head constantly. I didn't bring a shielder with me, and I'm doing a mono pyro team, so uh, I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage. Let's see how it goes. Also, melting is a very good reaction, so that's at least one positive of this domain. Having said, mono pyro isn't definitely one of my better comps. It's not one that I like to highlight very often because I don't feel like it's very good. Bang, bang, bang. Dia's OP. Okay, maybe she's not so OP. I can't get to the enemy in time. That's fine. Goodbye. Hua, you're dead. Bennett burst. Cause a burst. And you are not dead. You still have a shield. Man, these icicles? Leave me alone. Okay, we're good. One minute domain time. That's not good. I don't like one minute domains. We should be able to get that down to at least like 30 seconds. But it's very difficult when your stamina is getting drained, you're getting slowed. And you have to break a bunch of shields. Everybody who plays Genshin should instinctively hate this domain with their whole hearts. See, like, I had to use my whole Dia Burst on one shield. And then I was out. But that may be my own problem. Maybe if I brought Hu Tao or something, I would have been better. Bang! Dia Burst, go! Break one shield with a Dia Burst. Bang, bang, dead. One minute, three seconds. I'm so slow. Ooh, two gold books that time. We take that. Big, big, big. I'm going hard concentration mode this time. I will take less than a minute. I will not take any more than a minute this time. I promise. I am so fast at this game. Please believe me. Come on. I'm so good. Oh, don't teleport. Don't teleport. Get him. Please be under a minute. Yes, we did it. 51 seconds. I'm actually kind of good at the game when I focus. And oh my goodness, the icicles are still dropping. Somehow I was taking damage from the icicles even after I had completed this domain. That is uh, just embarrassing. Come on, we still got this, I believe. With the day of burst, and we finish it, and we get sub minute. Oh, just barely. We take it, though. This is our last domain run. Can we get a little bit more gold? A little bit more gold, please? Okay, one, we take it. We take one gold. So, as for how many brown books we craft, we're only upgrading his skill in his burst, so we're only going to need six total brown books, meaning we can craft 13 in total out of these. Uh, do I use Layla? What does she do for me? 10% chance to receive double the product? Yeah, that's definitely my favorite one. I like that one. Give me double the product, like 13 times or zero times. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then we have 46 of the uh, silver books, meaning we can craft one gold one because we're going to need 42 in total to take both his talents to 6-6. Six, six. Give me double, please. Oh, shoot. No doubles that time. A little unfortunate, uh, but we are at least are going to get his talents at 6-6. Six, six, plus, we got a couple extra gold books to take him to 7-7. Seven, seven. And I think it's now about time we start upgrading our Kaya. First thing we're going to need to do, level, not good at 20, all the way to 80, you are going to go. Oh no, we're already out of Ascension material? Oh, these. How do I always forget to craft these? Every single time, I forget to craft the dang gems. Every single time, and I have enough. I know I do. I can literally craft 36 of these bad boys. But somehow, it always slips my mind whenever I'm doing these videos. Alright, let's keep going. And just like that, I am completely drained of EXP books. I have like nothing left after that. That was kind of a sad upgrading session. I literally only have 231 EXP books left. I am like completely out, uh, but it's all worth it for Kaya. We also were able to get two more Acquaint Fates out of that, which if you don't know, when you get Acquaint Fates from Ascending Kaya, you have a guaranteed five star as we are about to show here. Give me one second. Mm, okay, that was a fluke. Oh, I actually had four Quaint Fates, so these first two don't count. It's the next two that count. This one uh, doesn't count. That one doesn't count. It wasn't a Kaya wish. These are the two Quaint Fates that count and are going to be guaranteed five stars as shown. Okay. As shown here, we have a guaranteed five star or not. One of these days, I'm going to get that, I believe. Anyways, let's get back to Kaya. We now have a level 80 Kaya. Next thing we're going to want to worry about, his weapon. Now, I'm not uh, a Kaya expert so i've had to do a little bit of research into what some of his best weapons are i think generally for kaya you just want to have them on like a burst support build where you're just trying to get as much damage as possible using things like attack percent cryo damage crit rate a pretty generic build you're also going to need enough energy to get his burst back on cooldown so i could use something like the favonia sword for example but i'm thinking for testing today we just use the primordial jade cutter i believe this actually is his best in slot 
And this is just a crazy weapon. So let's use it on him. I'm down for Primordial Jade Cutter Kaya. This is going to be really hype. Next thing for artifacts, I believe he wants four-piece emblem. From, what, from my understanding, he wants four-piece emblem. So let's try to filter by emblem and see what we can get. We're just trying to get the most out of his burst as possible. So let's see here. We're going to try to get my best emblem flower. We're going to get this one from Mona, which has a lot of crit rate and crit damage. Next thing's next. We're going to want a really good feather too. Uh, we'll take this one with 24 crit damage, 6 crit rate, 6 recharge. That's a really good feather. And then I believe I have a really nutty energy recharge chance. Yeah. Look at this bad boy right here. 10 crit rate, 22 crit damage. That's an insane piece. I don't think we have any onset cryo damage goblets. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. Or I don't guess I do, but there's no shot this rolls well. I guess I can try it though. Maybe it rolls a lot of crit rate. If not, I can just use an off piece. Okay, I'm using an off piece. Do I have any good cryo damage off pieces? Oh yeah, I have this one with 17 crit rate. Yeah, okay, we're fine. <laughs> and then as for emblem hats, um, I'll take this crit damage one with 10 crit rate, 16 recharge. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, then let's look at his stats. Oh my gosh, I have 102 crit rate. That's a little too much. <laughs> I don't need that much crit rate. Um, I think we need to switch off this goblet then. I think it might be a little too good for Kaya. Do I have any other with just more crit damage? Uh, I, I really don't, to be honest. This one has 14 crit damage. This one has 12, 6, 10. That's fine, I guess. This one's pretty decent. I guess I just don't need that much crit rate, though. I mean, I've been trying to prioritize crit damage, I think. So, yeah, I think we're doing fine. Let's see your split again. 91, 191. Pretty good. 214 recharge. Not too shabby. Plus 46 cryo damage bonus. I think that's a pretty decent Kaya. I think he's going to be really nutty while we're testing him. Now, let's upgrade these talents next. We're going to want to take both his skill and his burst to 7-7. Seven, seven. And I need more raven insignias. Wait, I think I can craft some. Let me check. Crafting table, tell me I can craft raven insignias, please. Oh yeah, I can. I can craft uh, a lot more of these. We can craft eight more here. And then we can also craft six more here. Good enough. Give me an extra. Man, bro, we did not get one double today. That's fine. Whatever. I have enough. I prepared. And finally, let's take his skill to level 7. And there we go. We got the 7-7 seven, seven Kai we wanted. And I am one step closer to completing every character in the game. Uh, yeah, that is something I'm working on. As you can see here, every character that's starred is a character that has a full artifact set, plus level 80, plus their own weapon. And then every character that isn't starred uh, is not that. Kaya is going to be the next one that we're able to star and add to our list of completed characters, which is pretty exciting. Eventually, I want to get every character starred and get them all on completed builds, but I imagine that's going to take me a while. And just like that, I think we have a finished Kaya. Unfortunately, I don't have too many constellations for him. I just don't roll much on the standard banner is what it is, but we got two two decent constellations. One that increases crit rate, which I really don't need because I have way too much as it is. And then another one that increases the duration, I believe, of my burst, which is actually pretty nice. So let's go and try this out against a couple of bosses. Now, I do not know exactly what bosses Kaya would be good against in particular, but I know one that just generally every character is good against is going to be that Primo Geo Bishop. The Primo Geo Bishop is a boss with high health, but relatively low resistances. We should be able to get some pretty crazy numbers with our Kaya against him is kind of what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can see some crazy Kaya damage. Now, I want a team that's really going to highlight Kaya, so I think I'm going to put him in a Melt team. Melt teams are just really, really strong, so getting Kaya with somebody like Dia could be really good getting up the kaya burst pairing it with dia burst could be really strong kazuha another really strong suitor and lastly i think we go bennett and we go melt dia team with kaya as the sub dps i think that could be really fun that may just be my bias though because i do like dia a lot we could always try him with another pile character later maybe we do d luke and kaya that could be another fun comp but i think i'm gonna try this one right now let's see what we are able to do all right, we got to start training up our burst first. Let's see what we can do. We're going to do Bennett E. And there we go. We got the Bennett burst. We need the Dea burst next. Bang. Oh, wow. Only 1.7. Oh, wait. That's because he was in his shielding mode. Never mind. We're good. Oh, that did 14k with the melt. That's nuts. Wait, that's actually kind of insane. Oh, shoot. I just got to avoid that. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I don't have any shielder characters on my team this time. All right. There we go. I think we got the Kaya burst off of that. There we go. We got Kaya burst. We got Kazua burst. And now I just need Dia burst. And then we're chilling. All right, there we go. We got all our bursts. Let's put them all down. Kazua, Bennett, Kaya, 
Bang. Bro, Kaidas did 23k. That's nuts. Bro, look at our damage. Look at our damn 8k, 8k, 14k, Kaya. Let's go. Kaya's nuts. And bang. 14k again, Kaya. Man, Kaya is so insane. I love him in melt teams, man. Good do it again, Kaya. Bang, 14k again. Kaya's just doing a straight 14k. And we got his burst back up so fast. Man, his cooldown is really low. That's so nice. Man, Kaya's nutty. Let's go, Kaya. Okay. I like that testing. I feel like we did a lot of good damage there with Kaya. He had really good recharge there, but I want to try him out in a team where we're trying to highlight him a little more. I want to try him with a freeze comp instead now. We're going to use Kaya first, and then we're going to use, I think the best freeze DPS would be Yelon or Zing Cho. I think I'm going to go with Zing Cho, actually. I like him a little more. And then for main DPS, we can either go with Ganyu or Ayaka. I think would be our two best options. I think I'll go with Ayaka, though. Or maybe Tartag would be good, too. Tartag could be a good option here. Uh, But I think we'll go Ayaka. I think we'll go Ayaka here. And then we'll go Kokomi for support. And this will be our freeze team. Uh, Where this would shine... Um, let me see. What, what would this be good against? We could try it against the uh, one boss that's on the hill here. I can't remember his name, but he's basically a testing boss that everybody kills over and over again. And really just bullies, to be completely honest. I want to prove how absolutely insane Kaya is. Because I know there's a lot of Kaya mains out there. And honestly, I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm supporting Kaya. Alright, let's go. What's your name? Masanori. That's what your name is. I completely forgot. All right, Masanori, let's go. It's time. We're going to fight. We might have to build up burst a little, a little bit again, but it should be okay. Kai gets his burst back relatively fast, to be honest. So I'm not too worried about it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He got back in like one hit there. My goodness. Okay, let's try this. Kakomi, Kaya, Zingcho, Ayaka. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> look at the damage. Look at the damage. Oh, shoot. I kind of missed him, but we could keep him frozen for like 10 plus seconds with this. This is crazy. We don't even have Kaya burst up anymore. Okay, we got to get that back. Oh my gosh, bro. We got it back so quickly. Look at that. He already has it back. I think that's partly because of uh, Zing Cho, but it's still pretty good. There we go. His ticks are doing like 14k a hit. Like that's really nasty. I think I have a really well-built Kaya there. Okay, we're gonna get a burst back again. We got Zing Cho plus Kaya plus Ayaka. Bang, 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 bang. Bro, look at this damage. He's almost dead. Come on. Yes. Let's go, Kaya. Bro, Kaya can be absolutely cracked. Honestly, I didn't realize how good Kaya was. I think I might have been underestimating him for a long time. And I'm happy with how we built our Kaya today. With all that being said, though, that is going to be the end of our video for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.